Long time no see. How have you been? My mom and husband came to my dearly departed father's funeral. So you decided to show your face, huh? Despite what you did, she didn't respond to my sarcastic remark at all. Well, it's my husband's funeral after all. It's only natural to attend, right? I came to claim my inheritance lol. I couldn't stop laughing at my mother's comment. Unfortunately, you won't be inheriting anything, you know. LOL. My name is Luna, a 32-year-old office worker. I've been married to Ryan for two years. We were both representatives for our respective companies. We gradually got closer each time we met for business and started going on dates. Then he asked me out and we started dating. But at first, I hesitated to go out with him because he was six years younger than me. Is it okay for a woman like me to be your girlfriend? When I asked him that, he replied looking straight into my eyes, I don't care about age. I like you, Luna. I was taken aback by his straightforward words and ended up falling for him. From then on, our relationship progressed smoothly and he proposed to me. We promptly visited his parents. His parents were very kind and accepted me. Bright and cheerful like him, I immediately liked my in-laws. Then we went to my parents' house and introduced him to them. Well, he's such a young guy. But he's very polite and pleasant, isn't he? My parents also quickly took a liking to him. He also spoke kindly of my parents, saying, they are very kind and good parents. And so, we got married without any problems. Even after marriage, we shared household chores while working. Luna's cooking is so delicious. Really? I'm glad to hear that. Did your mother teach you this? No, I learned it myself. My mom doesn't cook much, you know. She's particular about salads and oils though. Oh, I see. She's health conscious, huh? Well, she used to be a model. Huh? Is that so? Huh? Didn't I tell you? She was a teen model from high school to around 19. She got pregnant at 19, so she married my father, quit modeling for a while, but then she went back to modeling for about 10 years after I entered elementary school. No. I didn't know that. I thought she was really beautiful, but being a former model makes sense. He. Tell that directly to my mom next time. She'll be overjoyed lol. Right lol. So, should we go to Luna's parents' house next time? Yay lol. Let's go on our next day off. My husband really cares about my parents and often suggests visiting my parents' house. So I'm really grateful that I can regularly see my parents. That's how smoothly my married life with my husband has been going. But amidst that, an unfortunate event happened to us. My father had an accident and has been in a wheelchair since then. Luna, won't you come today either? It's fine during the day with the helper, but it's tough for me alone at night. Okay, got it. I'll drop by after work. I was really worried about my dad, and to be honest, my mom isn't good at household chores, so I was worried about leaving the caregiving to her. I informed my husband that I would go to my parents' house after work to take care of my father. Then, my husband surprised me by offering to drive me there and accompany me to my parents' house. Thanks, Ryan, I really appreciate it. Don't mention it, Luna. It's important to help out when your parents are in need. At that moment, I thought of my husband as a lifesaver. Oh, Luna, it's so nice of you to come. And thank you so much, Ryan, for going out of your way to come. No problem at all. Please don't worry about it. How's dad? He's resting in his room right now. But I think he'll need to use the bathroom soon. Got it. I'll go check on him in a bit. Thank you. Is there anything I can help with? Oh, well, there's something I'd like you to carry. Ever since dad started using a wheelchair, we've been short on people to help with heavy lifting. I see, of course, leave it to me. My husband readily agreed to my mother's request. I was grateful that my husband came along. Dad, you're awake. Thanks for coming, Luna. I heard your voice, so I woke up. I see. Do you need to use the bathroom? If so, I can take you. Yeah, I might need some help. I'm really sorry for all this trouble. What are you saying? Thanks to you, I was able to go to college. It's time for me to repay the favor. Thank you, Luna. After we finished taking care of my father, my husband and I headed home together. When we arrived home, my husband made a suggestion. Hey, how about we live together with your parents, huh? 
Well, to be honest, it must be tough for your parents to live alone in their current situation. Yay, but are you okay with that, Ryan? Won't you feel uncomfortable living with your in-laws? Not at all. Your parents are really kind, so I'm totally fine with living together. Ryan. I was truly grateful for my husband's suggestion. To be honest, I had the same thought as my husband. My mother and father are 15 years apart in age. My father is a CEO of a company, and he met my mother at a party where wealthy people gathered. He fell in love at first sight with my beautiful mother, approached her, and from then on, they started going out, and it seems they got married when my mother became pregnant. My mother wasn't good at household chores, so my maternal grandmother often came to our house to clean and cook. Indeed, I remember seeing my grandmother cooking when I was a child. My mom held this unique set of values where she believed if she kept herself looking pretty, she didn't need to do any housework at all, so she really never did any. Since I started living alone in college, I've been doing household chores and cooking, so I can manage them to some extent. But since my mother can't do anything, she can't take care of my father alone. So I wanted to be by my father's side and support him if possible. And there's one more reason I want to live together. Huh. What's that? Well, I'm pregnant. What, really? Yay. Well, am I going to be a dad? Yep. Well then, it'd be even better to live together at your parents' place, right? Yeah, that's true. I'll contact my mom right away. After saying so, I contacted my mother, who agreed to live together, saying, it'll be a great help. So, my husband and I moved in with my parents, and we started living together. And that's when I became a full-time housewife. While taking care of my father at home, I smoothly proceeded with preparations for childbirth. If anything happens, my mother will take me to the hospital, and even if I can't cook, she'll buy what I ask for at the supermarket. Just that much is a big help to me, and above all, I feel very relieved that I'll rarely be by myself when I was at my parents' house. My husband also seems to be getting along well with my father and mother. He cares about my father's health and has cheerful conversations with my mother. Watching him, I thought marrying this man was truly a good decision. Hey Ryan, could you accompany me for shopping? I heard there are many affordable ingredients at a supermarket a bit far away today, so I thought of taking the car. Of course, I'm fine with it. Leave it to me. My husband and mother get along so well, like a real parent and child, and they often go shopping together on weekends. Since it's getting quite difficult for me to go out due to my pregnancy, I'm very grateful that my husband and mother take the lead in shopping. Time passed and I safely gave birth. It was a healthy baby boy. The whole family rejoiced and celebrated the birth of my son. Since a boy was born, he might eventually take over my father's company. I thought a lively and even more enjoyable family life was about to begin. That's what I thought, but then I encountered a shocking situation. It happened on a day when I was going shopping with my son. I wanted to buy baby supplies, but the shop I was aiming for was far from home, so I decided to drive there. Rather than asking my husband and possibly getting the wrong items, it would be quicker for me to go myself, so I asked my husband to take care of my father and went shopping. And as I drove, about 10 minutes into the drive, I realized I had forgotten my wallet. I hurriedly turned back and returned home. As I was about to go to my room on the second floor to get my wallet, I heard strange noises coming from my mother's room. In my parents' house, my father's room, who is wheelchair-bound, is currently on the first floor, while our rooms, including my husband's and mine, are all on the second floor. There was no sign of my husband and mother in the living room on the first floor. At that moment, I had a very bad feeling. I quietly approached my mother's room. Then I heard creaking sounds and what seemed like heavy breathing coming from inside. This is definitely... I switched my smartphone to video recording mode and swung the door open. What are you two doing? Whoa. Eek. My startled mother and husband were both naked. In other words, they were engaged in those kind of acts. The two of them hastily put on clothes. What's the meaning of this? Isn't this clearly adultery? When I confronted them, my husband and mother remained inapologetic. Yeah, well. But you know, it can't be helped. Ryan prefers me, you know, lol. Sorry, Luna, your mother is just more attractive to me, lol. Huh. 
Apparently, my husband likes older women, and even more, he seems to have a thing for mature older women. So, when he was dating me, the age gap wasn't a problem at all. In fact, the further our ages were apart, the better. Do you really think you can get away with this? Well, there's nothing we can do about it, lol. Whether we're forgiven or not doesn't really matter to us, lol. Yeah, lol. I guess we'll leave here and live together, just the two of us, lol. Does that mean you're going to divorce me? Yeah, of course. Then I'll prepare the divorce papers right away. I was calmly proceeding with the conversation myself. I probably thought I needed to be strong for my father's sake, who needed to be taken care of, and also for my newborn son. Mom, you're divorcing dad, right? I'll bring your divorce papers along. When I said that, my mother made a surprising statement. I'm not getting a divorce. Huh. I'm not divorcing your father. But I'm leaving this house. Wait, wait a minute. Stop joking around. I'm not joking, lol. I won't leave until I get my share of this house's assets. Yes, until that man dies, lol. What are you saying? I won't leave until I get his inheritance, lol. My mother refused to divorce in order to get my father's inheritance. Certainly, even if various procedures were done, if it was a marital relationship, you would still have to pay the statutory portion. How rotten can you be? I said that while glaring at my mother with clenched fists. I'm just choosing the more advantageous option, lol. Whether it's money from an old man or whatever, I'll take it all. And I'll be with a young, lovely boy. I was beyond angry, I was bewildered. Ryan. I'm divorcing you no matter what. Yeah, fine, lol. But depending on the conditions, I might refuse the divorce, lol. Huh. What conditions? That your mother refuses to divorce your father, and that you and your father accept that. What? Well, because it's you, you're likely to try various things, right? So, instead of us divorcing, I want your parents to remain married. You can't be serious. There's no way I can accept such conditions. Then I won't divorce either. And I won't pay child support. That's outrageous. Now, which one will you choose? LOL. Both my husband and mother had triumphant looks on their faces. Anyway, I have to tell dad about this. I can't make a decision without considering dad's wishes. Saying that, I rushed downstairs. It seemed my father was awake. And he seemed to have heard the conversation. Luna, you don't have to worry about me, lol. Get a divorce right away. But, if that happens, you and mom won't be able to divorce. Don't worry about me, lol. So, break up with that man right away. My father looked me straight in the eye and said so. He probably had a plan. If that's the case, I'll do as my father says. And I'll agree to the conditions my husband proposed and get a divorce. Let us know when that person kicks the bucket, lol. The two of them said laughing and left. I was on the verge of madness and anger, but the hardest part was for my father. Sorry, dad, Ryan's done something awful. Don't worry about it, lol. Those two will probably see hell soon. I didn't understand what my father was thinking at all. But I quickly understood after his explanation. Certainly, with this, I can show hell to my mother and Ryan. I decided to live without worrying about those two from then on. I hired a helper during the day, and I started working again at a company. My son grew up healthily, and I became better at taking care of my father. He seems happy to play with his grandchild. When my son grows up, I hope he becomes like my father. And like that, three years passed in the blink of an eye. My father had been unwell for a while, and ended up living in the hospital. And then, without recovering, he passed away. I was calmer than I had thought because I had prepared myself. I immediately started arranging the funeral. My father was well liked, so many people attended the funeral. But among them, I encountered the people I least wanted to see. Long time no see. How have you been? I came as promised lol. It was my mother and ex-husband. What are you here for? I came to fulfill a promise lol. My dear father's funeral, attended by my mother and husband. So you decided to show your face, huh? Despite what you did. Luna, men and women are naturally attracted to each other. So it can't be helped. Once attracted, you can't use reason with them. They seem completely unresponsive to my sarcasm. 
If that's the case, why are you attending dad's funeral? You two could spend time alone together, couldn't you? Well, it's my husband's funeral, isn't it? It's only natural to attend. And as I said earlier, I have a promise to fulfill. Came to inherit the money lol. So, tell me the amount of the inheritance I'll get. I couldn't stop laughing at my mother's statement. Unfortunately, you won't get any inheritance lol. What? What are you talking about? She should be entitled to a statutory share of the inheritance. Too bad, but mom and dad are already divorced. Huh? I didn't agree to a divorce. Did you forget that you once handed divorce papers to dad? He kept it just in case. So after you two left home, he submitted the divorce papers. You and father are strangers now, meaning you're not eligible for inheritance. Upon hearing that, my mother and ex-husband turned pale. What? No way. That's got it. Would you mind leaving now? Do you understand the situation? Many people who admired my father had gathered around us. So everyone completely was hostile to the two who betrayed and hurt my father. Realizing the situation, my mother and ex-husband hurriedly left. According to the what I heard, the two had been living extravagantly beyond the level of my ex-husband's income, and my mother had depleted her savings. And they even started borrowing money, reaching their limit. Then, upon learning of my father's death, they planned to use the inheritance to repay their debts, but their plan failed, and they got nothing. Apparently, no one knows where the two are now. Well, it doesn't matter to me anymore. Meanwhile, I had been working at my father's company for a few years and had taken over as president before my father's death. Now, I am raising my son while protecting my father's company as the president. I hope my son will take over the company someday, but if he finds something else he wants to do, I'll fully support his dreams. For now, I want to watch my adorable son grow up and be as close to him as possible.